Now, I like orange, but I think this one looks a little bit like I'm insane. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a products I had to have but don't use. And this idea, I got it from Nikki Murphy and Brittany Jordan. They had done a collaboration um, a while back showing products that they, you know, had to have, like they had to buy it or, you know, they were just obsessed with getting it and then they got it and at the end they didn't use them. And this could be products anywhere from things that you bought and then you just stashed them somewhere and you never use them or things that you got maybe used once maybe didn't really give up give it a chance and then you just disappeared them and never used them again um so i'm just gonna get started i really like the idea of this video i'm gonna be linking both their videos down below so you guys can check them out as well as their channels and i'm just gonna jump right in so first things first eos lip balm okay Sometimes I feel like this this um video could actually be like a products I regret buying as well because some of these I might have used once or twice and I hated them and then I just stashed them but they were things that I, all of these are things that I just had to have them like I, I I made sure that I went out and got this specific thing with products that you regret buying it could be something that you just bought maybe to try but you weren't really like obsessing over getting it so that could be the difference in those videos but they kind of like relate to each other sometimes it's not necessarily that you don't that you really regret the product or that you hate it it's just that you just haven't gone around to using it or you forgot and you just stashed it so first of all eos lip balm i went crazy looking for these things and because they were like a total hype on youtube and i used it a few times this one is all crusty and disgusting i'm not even gonna that's how long it's been stashed okay I used it once or twice never used it again and I was like do you know what it is like going on a hunt for these things because sometimes they're not in all drugstores and they're not with the beauty products they're somewhere else so you have to go like on a hunt for them and then at the end I didn't even use it I didn't even give it pretty much a chance um, I, I did use it afterwards after those two times maybe like another couple of times but I really actually hate the product so that's one the next one is the elf mineral face primer and I got this because everybody just kept saying you need to prime your face before your foundation and you have to prime your face I never ever pretty much prime my face it has to be like a miracle that I prime my face I don't know it's just something that I'm not used to really I'm not like into it oh this this is pretty much full I've maybe used this like twice and I went on a hunt like oh my god I need to find a primer and since all the primers were like so expensive I'm like let me just get the elf one you know so I can at least try it and never use it at all it's just sitting there on my counter this I swear that I really want to get back into it because I would love to see if this actually works like I went on a crazy hunt over this because Makeup by Tiffany D was raving about this thing. And this is the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Thermal Protection Hairspray. And she says that what she would do with this is spray her hair before curling it and then she would curl it. And it would just, her curls would just be beautiful and like all protected and all shiny, this and that. I used this one time and my hair looked, I don't even know how to explain it to you. I think I used it on two strands of my hair because I really hated it. I don't know if maybe my hair was either too clean, too dirty. I have no idea what, what could have happened. This is really expensive stuff. <laughs> and to have it like sitting around, it's like, why did you waste money like that? What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try this again. And if I don't like it, I will sell it on eBay or something. But, um... But yeah, like it's full guys, it's full. And this is 200 milliliters and it's like full. And what my hair looked like in Spanish, we say parecía una araña peluda. <laughs> it, well, Cubans say that. I don't know if somebody else say it, but it means that your hair was like, you like that face, right? That's what my hair looked like when I sprayed this in it and curled it. It was horrific. I couldn't, I was like, are you serious that this product cost this much and it made my hair look like complete garbage so I'm gonna give it another try and we shall see
All right, and tying into that is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Everybody raves about this thing. I went and bought it because people rave and rave and rave and rave about this thing. I swear, like, the uses that I might have got out of this have been, like, five times in, like, the 10,000 years that I've had this bottle. Because I've had this bottle for years, ever since I started watching YouTube videos, which was back in 2010 or 9. I swear to you, I've had this since then. It has been six years, and I have not used this. It, it, it literally, if, if it's at the middle, it's a miracle. Thing is, guys, and it smells really good, too. Really, really good. Thing is, guys, I am not a heat tamer spray user. I know that it's good. I know you should use it. I just don't feel that my hair cooperates the same when I use these things. I don't know what it is about it, but my hair wor works wonders without these things. When I put these things in there, my hair gets all weird. That's probably what happened with this thing. But I'm willing to give probably this a second try than this because I, I just don't use these things. You know how sometimes when YouTube makes you get things and you just don't use them? <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my God, okay, this is the NYX Lip Smacking Fun Color. Okay, this is just the lipstick. This is the NYX lipstick in pumpkin pie. All right, you guys that know me know I love pumpkin, know I love pumpkin pie. I saw this lipstick. This, oh my God, this has gotten really bad. Look how that melted. <laughs> I think it even has like a hair in it. This needs to be thrown away like immediately. This is gonna go in my products I've used up video even though I haven't used it up. <laughs> wow, ew. All right, what happened with this is this. I saw this on one of the girls that I used to watch, which she doesn't even make videos hardly ever anymore. And it looks so nice and it looked like a nice neutral color. And um, I really, really liked it. And of course, naming it pumpkin pie, of course, how am I not gonna like it? And I hated the color on me. I wore it one time and that's it. So I went like on a mission to get this color. I'm telling you, things that I just had to have and I didn't like it that's that wow I have a few lip products here this is crazy all right so this is the L'Oreal lipstick this is the color rich lipsticks in the color Ferris nude and you guys are probably gonna be like what you don't use that color I love that color because this was raved about like crazy on YouTube and don't get me wrong it's a pretty color but on my lips, it looks so weird. It's like, cause you know how you go on a search for like the perfect nude color and then um, here on YouTube, this was like so raved about. I like, oh no, no, I have to get this. And I, I think I even got two of them to tell you the truth. That's how bad I went on a craziness for this. I think I got like two of them and then I used it one time, did not like it. And I think it just sat in my drawer forever and a day horrible um so yeah horrible color on me guys so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this we'll see all right this is the bare minerals marvelous moxie what is this a lip gloss lip gloss okay and this is in the color daredevil now when you look at it here it looks like such a pretty color but and even when you swatch it, it looks super sheer, super nice, you know, like a nice color that you could wear. Have never used it. I think I tried to like swatch it on my lips once and I don't know if it was that I didn't like it. I don't know what happened. I think it was that I didn't like it and then I just stuck it in the drawer and never used it again. Bare Minerals is another one that's super expensive. This one I had to have because it was called Miami Fever. And you know that I live in Miami and you know that I love my city. And um, so I had to have this. I literally had to have this. This is a Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in Miami Fever. And this is like a super orange color. All right. Look at this, guys. This is like a freaking hot tamale. Look super orange color now I like orange but I think this one looks a little bit like I'm insane so I didn't I just 
I used it like well I didn't even use it I swatched it on my lips once and then I never used it again but I had to have it because it was called Miami fever so yeah that's it for you <laughs> this one guys I swear to God this is like my most regretted ever purchase off the face of the earth I think on what everything that I have here okay this is from the alluring aquatic collection from Mac this is the only Mac thing I own I believe I hate Mac um, I don't hate Mac but it's like I don't see the hype of Mac products unless maybe it's because I just I just got this and I hated it and all right the matte lipstick and enchanted one and this is the one that had like the drops you know like the actual you can feel the drops on the lipstick thing and this is the color right here it's like a brownish nudish color now this was my issue when you swatch it and when you see it on other people it's a gorgeous gorgeous color when I put this on my lips, I swear to God, I was hating the world. And I went on a mission to get this because um, I never go to the Mac store. I never, so I would just go online and get stuff. And I went on a mission because this was like sold out everywhere. And I'm like, I have to have that color. I have to have that color. And it's going to be my first Mac product and blah, blah, blah. And every time I would see the swatches and I would see it on people's lips, beautiful. On my lips, a horror story. The American horror, what, what is what is that horror story? The American horror story, Jason, Freddy, I mean, whoever you want to call that's a horror story. Horrible on me. And I'm so upset because this is like super expensive. I'm going to have to give it since I already like tried to use it once and swatched it and stuff. I can't really like I don't want to sell it like that. You know what I mean? So I guess I'll just have to give it to like a family member or something. But yeah that's that so I mean I don't really get the whole Mac hype especially over this color but I mean to each its own you know what I mean so yeah this oh my god this is like products I had to have but don't use and products I regret buying literally oh my god guys this is like the most hilarious thing ever this elf high definition powder I have not used this not once guys not once and I would love to give this a try and I remember I got this because everybody and it comes with this like little thing and it's just like a white translucent powder I have not used this not once I definitely have to go shop my stash and start using things but um I remember exactly why I got this I don't remember um it was back back in the days 2010 2011 um where it was like very like you need to put a translucent powder after your foundation and this and that and blah 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 and I'm like oh my god I need to get that I seriously need to get that and then I don't remember what beauty guru or what youtuber um talked about the elf high definition powder they said it was good and I just had to have it and I have not used this not one time in my life like I don't even know I don't even know how this thing got like those like foundation stains on it because I've never ever used this powder I do want to give it a try though I've heard different and mixed reviews on this powder so I would love to give it a try and then maybe even do a review video on this if I do like it or if I don't um, but yeah I've had it for years and have not used this not once it's crazy another one I haven't used not one time is the elf shimmer palette wait till you see when I open this up look at this look at this I have not touched that it, they it, I think one of the colors has like a nail mark or a swatch mark on it which is this one right here but other than that look at the colors tell me have any of them been used nope I don't even know why I got this I don't know I, I, I don't know what I thought I was gonna do with this because I look at this and I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this like literally I don't know I think these are highlighters but I'm not exactly sure I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this I need to either sell this or do something about it I don't know guys don't ask me why I bought this really just don't <laughs> another product I think I just went on an elf frenzy one day when I was just watching all these youtuber youtubers about everything we had to have in our collection and I think I just went on a frenzy and that's what happened 
the elf makeup mist and setting spray okay this is used a little bit and that's like a miracle you see i don't know if you can see it there it's used a little bit like about this much this is a miracle that i've used this okay because i'm another one that i never set my makeup i never spray anything just recently i got the l'oreal um setting spray and that's the one i've been using now um but I really do want to use this and get rid of it because I just don't want to throw it out. But this is something else that I've had for several years and I just don't ever use this. And then I get these things out of my cabinet and I'm like, let me put it in the bathroom right next to all my makeup. And it's just something that I just don't do. I'm not used to using this stuff and I just don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't use it, but I'm going to have to. <laughs> This came in a double pack because it came in Costco and I hated the first one. So this is why I don't use the second one. This is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Oh my God, how much I hate this thing, guys. It's just, it says it's for mild, it's a mild non-irritating formula, soften as it cleans. I just hate this thing really, really bad. Um, the first one I used, I don't even know how because from the minute that I tried it, I hated it. It's those cleansers, those soaps that like don't move. How, how do I explain that to you? You you can't like lather yourself. You can't like... I originally bought this for my kids because my oldest son has very sensitive skin. Kind of like me. He has very sensitive skin and um, I wanted to get him something that wouldn't irritate him. I just went back to using the Johnson & Johnson baby thing which you guys have seen in several of my empties videos because I love that thing. But this... It's like literally full. I have not even opened this. Like, look, the pump is like, everything is just like intact because I have not used this. And I got it because I was like, I heard awesome things about the Cetaphil. The moisturizer is amazing, but the cleanser is horrifying. L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Literally, it's not because I don't like this. I love this foundation. I love what it would do to my skin, but it broke me out so bad guys and and um i was so happy when i got this because i heard so many people raving about this and i was like i gotta try this and i got it and i was like oh my god this is freaking amazing i loved it but then all of a sudden i started breaking out and this is like for neutral skin so it should be fine for me but i don't know there's something about it that breaks me out and i started testing out to see what was breaking me out and it was definitely this so this is something that i had to have but i can't use not that i don't want to use i can't use it all right, this is the Pink Almond Candy Philosophy Lip Balm. And this, I totally remember who mentioned it. This was April Athena 7. Um, you guys know who she is. She's from April Justin TV, April Athena 7. It was her Holy Grail Lip Balm. I think that, I don't know if it's because she doesn't like the EOS bomb, bombs or what it is, but she would go like, cause this is kind of like discontinued and she would go to like Amazon and like everywhere to find this. And I found it and I was like, oh my God, it smells good because it smells like almond and it's super cute. Look at that packaging. I was like in love, in love. And when I used it, it was, I, I don't know. I didn't really see the hype in this either. It was just like, I used it once, used it twice, and then I was like, okay, whatever. Threw it in the drawer and didn't use it. And then I'm like, I can't believe I went on a mission online trying to find this because I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's discontinued and I went on a mission looking for this. The okay, this happens to be you guys know I'm not a Bath and Body Works girl, but sometimes when I walk in there, I tend to get caught up in these things the sprays. Um, there's some scents that I really do love and I really do like. What I really hate from there are the candles, I could care less about those things. Um, I'm more of like a fragrance oil type person, but I got this one because they were having the sale. It smells really good, it's exotic coconut. Ask me if I've ever sprayed this look it's all the way up to the top all the way you can see it <laughs> i have not used this not one time tell me if i had to waste money on this and i saw it and i'm like oh my god coconut oh my god yes i have to have this i have to have this 
I have not even used it one time. So I don't know if I should start using it maybe this summer um, to smell night. I love summery type smells and like coconutty beachy smells. I love that. So maybe I can use it this summer or um, give it away to somebody. I don't know. So that's that. Oh my God, guys, these I've had for like a billion years. You know how everybody would always talk about blotting sheets way back in the days? Well, I told myself that I needed some, of course, and I went and got the e.l.f. Shine Eraser Blotting Sheets. Ask me how many times I've opened this package. Zero. I don't really need to use these, or maybe I don't realize um, that I need to use these, or I don't know what it is, but it's, it's sealed, guys. Look at it. It's sealed. I have never opened this. I'm going to open it with you on camera now. Let's do an unboxing of the e.l.f blotting sheets look <laughs> I have never ever ever used these and these are supposed to like dry the oil and absorb oil and shine and stuff like that but I think that I don't really since I'm more towards like drier skin I think I don't really like I don't really have oil on my face so I've never really found the need to use these so never use them and this is like hilarious. I think I even had this before YouTube. I don't even know. Um, these are actually a cool invention, but it's kind of like out of your way to go and grab one. I found this, I think it was at Claire's. Now that I'm looking at the price tag and I maybe have used one of these things. They're like all like, like if they're oxidating or something, <laughs> they're like getting yellow. All right, and these are the Swab Plus Eye Makeup Remover, like cotton swab thingies. And these are basically like this, and they have like liquid in there, and then I think you're like supposed to break. How does, oh, there, there it is. So I think that you're like supposed to break, break it or something like that, and then it has like the alcohol-free formula, so it'll start leaking into like the little swab, and you can just, but it's kind of like a waste of your time. Think about it. You have baby wipes you have makeup remover wipes and you have them right there what's gonna possess you to like go into your drawer grab one of these break the little thing blah 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 you know what i mean like i've never used them never i think i maybe used one like three thousand years ago and that's it i've never ever used this again all right this is another thing that i just went off on a whim to buy which because everybody raves and says how much you know people should use these things and to depuff your eyes and stuff like that and I bought um, since all of them I see are like kind of like on the expensive side I went ahead and bought the elf eye refresh and this is in the cut in clear and this is basically just like the Garnier thing it's like a metal ball and like you'll just in the morning you just go under your eye around your eye and supposedly that's gonna depuff it and refresh your eye and get you ready for the day I've used this maybe one time one time and I was I was in such a hurry that I don't I didn't really have time to like just sit there and like maybe see like I just had to like rush get on the go you know whatever I didn't really notice if it did depuff my eye or not yeah that's that's the thing with this so I guess I'm gonna have to get into this and give it a try it's just what happens with me if it's not things that I'm able to get into like my routine I tend to like leave them stashed somewhere so Oh my god guys this is this isn't uh, these things crack me up because when I go back to how long I've had these things it's so crazy look at this thing I don't even remember what youtuber I saw this but I remember it was a youtuber and she raved about this formula 10.0.6 steep down detox de detox ultra cleansing mud mask in orange and bergamot and um, it says it, it cleanses impurities and it gives you a brighter complexion and it's in like this brownish kind of clay looking thing and this is what the, what the container looks like. I have not used this at all if you want to compare it to how many years I've had it for. I've had this since like 2010 and I've used it I think once and I can't even remember what the outcome of that was that's how bad it is so i mean i don't even remember what this cost i don't think it was cheap but this youtuber went on such a rant about it that 
I literally had to, like, I, I rushed to get it, went online, like, oh, I have to get this. <laughs> and, um, and I've never used it. So <laughs> I'm here, like, thinking what I'm going to do with all these things. Like, I literally have to, like, set them in my face and see, like, how I'm going to start using all these things. So, yeah. Another thing I got with this, I got more recent. Um, is the Queen Helene Gentle Oatmeal and Honey Natural Facial Scrub and it gently removes the dull surface layers to reveal your healthy complexion and I've had this for a couple of months I mean it's closer to now time but I've had it for a while and um, I I don't know I don't like it that much it looks like oatmeal that's kind of what it looks like and um you know it's 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 really is a gentle facial scrub but i don't know why i think i have felt uncomfortable using it i don't know if maybe it was too harsh on my skin since i'm sensitive um or i don't know i i i guess i just didn't like it like enough to use it more than once and i just used it once and just threw it but you see all these products just sitting around guys that's like insane and then this, I don't even know what possessed me to get this because I have always known that I've never been a self-tanner. I don't even know how to self-tan. I'm like super white. My legs, I'm going to show you my, my leggies. Can you see that? Like, let me show you here. You see guys, my legs they're like super white but I've never been the type to like self tan I don't even know how to do it I'm like afraid of turning my hands orange I'm afraid of turning orange but yet I decided to get the L'Oreal sublime bronze self tanning mist which this is like super expensive guys and this is the medium natural tan and this is a 360 wide angle applicator it says no rub quick dry streak free that's probably why I got it because it said no rub <laughs> Oh my god guys, I'm telling you. So yeah, um I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to try it out now because it said no rub, streak free, quick dry. So I guess I'm gonna try it out this this like well it's already like pretty much summer in Miami. I could try this out now. But I know myself, like you know what I mean? I know I'm not the type to use these things, and yet I like somehow convince myself at the store that I'm gonna get that I'm gonna use them. You know what I mean? So it's like all right, guys, so this is it for my <laughs> for my products I had to have but don't use and kind of tied in with the products I regret buying for some of them. And don't forget to check out Nikki Murphy and Brittany Jordan. I'm going to link their videos down below. They're the ones that came up with this um, idea of this products I had to have but don't use video. And I thought it was a cool idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. And I love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.